What's up, guys? Junior here with Comics Remix, and I'm here with uh, somebody I grew up watching, idolized, Steve Cardenas. Steve, how are you doing today? Pretty good. How are you? I'm all right, man. Is this your first time in Chicago? Uh, no, I've been to Chicago several times before, even for convention before, too. Um, a few years back, I did ASIN, uh, a few years back, back in like 2008 or 2009. Um, but yeah, I, I've come to Chicago a few times, so I like it here. I was just going to ask you, how do you like it? Yeah, it's nice, man. Have you, have you had a chance to go, like, you know, survey the food? Because, you know, we're known for our pizza and stuff like that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm pretty much like a vegan, so I don't eat a lot of pizza really or anything like that. But, um, you know, I, I'm still a fan of food, so uh, I, I do like the cuisine here. And... Um, it, but I'm a big fan of bigger fan of architecture. Like I love buildings and stuff like that. My, I'm like obsessed with like tall buildings and stuff. So I like coming here and checking out all the tall buildings and stuff. So when I was here last time, went through all Millennium Park and checked out all that stuff and all the cool buildings around. You know, of course the big tower and everything. So did you do the Skywalk? Uh, no, I didn't do the Skywalk. You know what that is though? Yeah, is that? Uh, uh, I don't know, actually. It's basically no. like it, it's a bridge. You go out, and but the bridge is like really, really thick plexiglass, and you walk over the city. Oh, like you can look straight. The floor is out of glass and stuff, so you're looking oh, straight no, down. And it, I guess I got to do that, man. Uh, my girl was forcing me to do it next month, and I'm like, uh, I don't know, because wow, I mean, crazy. you're. I think it's the 120th floor. Really? Oh man, I gotta go Imagine do that. that. I gotta go do it. So you know, obviously, you are known for your role as Rocky the Red Ranger. In my in my honest opinion, man, you know, I don't, I'm not going to sugarcoat it here. When I was watching you growing up, you know, obviously you you replaced Austin St. John and stuff. But I feel that they never properly gave your character like just do. It's like, you know, Jason had his role. You know, he was the guy. Then Tommy came along. But then when you came along, it's like they kind of took the Red Ranger character and you know, like oh, he's not so important anymore. Like, did you get any flack from that? Like, did you like did it bother you at all or anything? No, it didn't bother me. I mean, for one, I knew. I I wasn't going to be the leader because you know, everybody knew that Tommy was the leader, you know, so I, I, and I had no problem with it because, hey, I'm just going to be on TV, you know what I mean? I'm excited to be part of anything, you know, in any capacity. So, uh, no, it didn't bother me at all that the Red Ranger wasn't the leader anymore. Um, I didn't feel cheated or slighted in any way, you know, I was just happy to be a part of the production in the first place. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, did, I felt a little uh, uneasy about replacing Austin because I knew he was such a big character in the show. Um, so I, I didn't know how that was going to be received. But, um, you know, the rest of the cast really welcomed me in and that made me feel a lot more comfortable so I could do my job, you know. And then I just hoped that the rest of the, you know, people would follow along with it. You know, and of course, as everybody got older, everybody has their opinions. Some people don't like me at all, and some people, you know, love me. So I'm fine with it. You know, right? It was to me, in my opinion, like the the storylines kind of went downhill a little bit, but then they picked back up as it got into Zio. Yeah. You know, and that's one of my personal favorites and everything. But as you know, a lot of like I said, a lot of people know you for Rocky. But what was Steve doing before he joined Power Rangers? I was teaching karate. I do the same thing I do now. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been teaching martial arts since I was like 16 years old. And um, I was actually um, working for one of my karate instructors who opened up a school in Dallas, Texas. And I was actually living in the back of that school at the time. And I had a bed in the back, you know, and that was my home. And uh, so I would work all day teaching class and then I would sleep at night. And then uh, I heard about the audition on the radio. So I went to the audition and then and that, and that weekend my whole life changed, you know, because I went to that audition. And then they called me a couple days later. They said, we want to fly you to California to meet the producers and uh, flew to California. and. Um, after that, they hired me on the spot, and I never went back, you know? So it was kind of crazy. That sounds great, man. Now, I, I'm sure you get these questions a lot because, uh, I mean, there's only so much somebody can really ask, but right. your favorite episode, favorite moments on the set, you know? Oh, man. Well, I'll tell you, one of my favorite times filming was when we did the movie because we did the movie in Sydney, Australia, right, which right. was a blast, you know? And uh, just just that whole time, you know, it's just really unforgettable for me. So uh, that was a good time. And you know what? Going back to what you were saying, doing Zeal was actually really fun for me, too. I really feel like my character got more developed in that season, and they didn't, they weren't really beholden to the Red Ranger anymore, you know what I mean? Before, before they had, like, an image of the Red Ranger, and they sort of just kind of cookie-cuttered me in there a little bit. Um, but when it was Zeal, now it was like a whole new series, a new storyline, new everything, so they could kind of give me a little bit kind more like personality. Yeah, exactly. Somewhere. That's exactly what they did, yeah. So I like the Red Ranger costume the best, but I like Zio as far as like for character development better. It was a good season to work on. And how did it feel like when they were transitioning from Zio to Turbo and they broke the news to you like, hey, we're getting rid of your character and you're being replaced with a child. Like, yeah. did that bug you at all? Well, no, 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 because it was my choice to leave. So, oh, yeah, okay. so, I, yeah, it wasn't like, oh, by the way, you're being replaced. Um, it was like, I, I wanted to go. So when I was leaving, they were like, okay, well, we need to find somebody to replace him. But how should we do it? And that's the direction they decided to take. But I didn't have any say in who was my successor, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
I heard behind, that behind the scenes there was a lot of pranks going on. Uh, yeah. I could imagine. Do you remember? Do you have any favorites that maybe you've witnessed or been a part of? Yeah. Um, well, there's so many. You know, there's a lot. But the, one of the funniest ones that for me that that I always remember is Jason Frank. Man, he's such a character, man. And we were on the set of the movie, and he used to like dip his finger in his water bottle. And as people would walk by, he'd go, Achoo! and like flick the water on him and make it seem like it sneezed on them, you know? And people would get really mad, like, oh, I don't want to get sick, you know? But anyway, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, you know, there's just a lot of stuff like that. You know, we were always, uh, you know, we were working together a lot, so we got bored a lot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So right after you left the show and everything, you went directly back into teaching karate? Yep. I had my own martial arts studio at that point that I opened up in California called USA Martial Arts. And I ran that for several years. Then I sold that school. And then since then, I opened up another martial arts studio called Force Balance Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yes. And I just teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu now full time. And then except for when I come and do these shows. Now, I noticed like last year JDF was here and you know he's he's doing this big tour and I follow you on Facebook and I saw I was like your tour dates and stuff it's like did he have him doing the tour influence you to start doing it as well or yeah as a matter of fact you know I, I was spending a lot of time you know back in like you know because I, I did some conventions you know in 2007 8 9 10 you know but 2011 through like 2013 I didn't do or you know pretty much through, through 2013 I didn't do any uh, uh, shows because I was building up my school but Jason Frank was the one who, who texted me and he was like, look, dude, you need to start doing the shows again, man. So come on, I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you how you can get back, back into the scene again. And he goes, you really got to do it, man. It's a 20 year reunion and you know, people are asking about you. So um, I kind of took his advice and, and went with it. So it was Jason Frank actually that got me back into the circuit. See that, fans? You you thank Tommy for getting Rocky to come to the sh uh, to our shows here in Chicago and stuff. He's been, a, he's been a real help too, man. Like he always like you know he's got a huge fan base, so he always plugs me all the time. He's like, hey, follow my guy Steve, man. He's awesome. We're gonna do shows together. We're doing a show in Puerto Rico in May, the Puerto Rico Comic Con. Uh, we're gonna do that show together. We're gonna be in costume together, so it's gonna be really Maybe cool. I, should fly out. I haven't seen family out there in a long time. Yeah, you should come out and check it out, man. I love to. It'll be fun. Right. Yeah, May 24th and 25th. You're not going to Wizard World this year here in Chicago, right? In August? No, 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 that'll be Jason. Jason. Jason Frank will be at that one, but I won't be at that one. No, you think you're gonna redo your tour next year? Uh, I hope to, yeah. So do I, because I, I, I love to get your signature on a Red Ranger helmet, man. That'd be killer. But, um, hey, I want to thank you for your time here with me. Uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend. You know, I wish you safe passages. And uh, to all you Power Ranger fans, man, where can they find you? Um, you can follow me on uh, Facebook uh, at uh, Steve Cardenas Fan Page. And uh, also Twitter, Steve Cardenas PR. And uh, with Instagram, it's Steve underscore Red underscore Ranger. So look me up. Follow there you me. go. You heard it from the man. Again, Steve, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.